Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. I am Emma from ImmaculateBites.com. Today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite street snacks, Puff Puff. I love Puff Puff. I have made it over a thousand times and counting. It's one of those foods that when I make, everybody wants to eat. Hubby loves it, my son adores it, and I can't seem to have enough of it. It's usually eaten for breakfast, as a snack, as a side, a must if you're throwing any West African party. This recipe has been perfected over the years. It comes out slightly crunchy outside and chewy inside. It's just the way I like it, and you're gonna love it too. Let me show you how to put all of this together. Start by adding two cups of warm water into a large bowl. You do not want your water to be hot. The temperature of your water needs to be between 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. If your water is too hot, it's going to kill the yeast. Add in half a tablespoon of salt, followed by three quarter cups of sugar and two and a quarter teaspoon yeast. Stir. Set it aside and let it proof for about five minutes. Once you see the bubbles, you're good to go. Add in three and a half cups of flour, mix. I usually start by mixing with a spoon and then, who wants a spoon? I put it aside and then I use my hands. Do you know why? It's because I can feel the texture of the dough. Cover it up, let it rise for about one to two hours in a warm, place. One drawback about this recipe, wait time. Nobody likes to wait. What do you do? I dance. I pull on some afro beats. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And I get going while waiting. Make sure your dough doubles in size. If not, it's going to be flat and hard. You do not want that dough. Now we're ready to fry. I use my hands to fry because it's faster and comes out perfectly round. Use a spoon if desired. Before you start frying, make sure your oil is at least 350 degrees. Do not overcrowd your pan. If not, your puff puff will be soggy. Whenever I fry puff puff, it takes me back to those days in my childhood when I used to go up the street and then watch the ladies frying the puff puff. Oh my goodness, the way they, they did it. They put their hands on the bowl and they took out a big chunk of the dough and then they put it in the pan and it came out just perfectly round. I would go home and practice it on any dough I had on hand. Some days I had whipping for it. <laughs> Something that I always think about till this day. And believe it or not, I wanted to become like one of those ladies. Trust me, I did. The puff puff is already nice and golden brown. I'm gonna take it out, place it on a paper towel to suck up some excess oil. Our puff puff is right there. What I usually serve it with is beans, pap, pepper sauce, or just eat it as is. You don't need anything to serve puff puff with. It's crusty on the outside and look at the inside see chewy on the inside just the way puff puff should be this is so good you need to try it thank you all for watching i'm emma from immaculatebites.com if you enjoyed this video give it a huge thumbs up subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next video Bye for now.